So I, I just want to play you this clip from Fox News. Just, just look, just, just watch what they're saying and then, and then we'll continue. Those are Soviet era bio labs that the U.S. has been engaged since 2005 in trying to help Ukraine convert the research facilities safely. In Uzbekistan, for instance, the United States eliminated nearly 12 tons of weaponized anthrax from an island in the Aral Sea in 2001. Here's a statement from the Pentagon, quote, on a daily basis, Russia propagates either either directly through state-run media outlets or through the use of surrogates, disinformation aimed at BTRPs, the U.S. Biothreat Reduction Program's laboratory, and capacity-building efforts in former Soviet Union countries. The Lugar Center in Georgia and the Central Reference Laboratory in Kazakhstan are the primary targets, but more recent disinformation efforts have targeted laboratories in Ukraine. Through these different disinformation campaigns, Russia falsely claims the United States is developing biological weapons in laboratories in these countries, as well as killing local populations with purposeful release of biological agents. That is why White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said Moscow's talk today about these biolabs has led to concern uh, by U.S. intelligence that Russia could use chemical or biological weapons in Ukraine to create a false flag operation using them. Sean? Jennifer, but we do know Victoria Nuland admitted that, that labs existed. What exactly they're for, we never got clarity on, correct? Well, we do have clarity. I have a, a fact sheet. That's what I was just reading from, from here at the Pentagon. And it is a long program that has existed where the Pentagon... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god did you see that did you see that he's like well you've been saying a lot of things do you have any proof and she's like well, well yes I, I i just read you the statement from the pentagon there's the proof <laughs> what no 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 you you just read me a fucking propaganda piece from the department of defense that's not proof what the hell does that mean could you imagine if you said something like well, you know, the, the, the Russians are saying that uh, the Ukrainians just detonated 10 nuclear bombs um, against Russian forces uh, in Kiev. And then you ask, well, where, where's the proof? Well, the, the Russians said so. You would be laughed out of the room. They would laugh at you for saying that, for citing the Russian defense ministry. And they're literally doing that. They're saying, do you see the Russian defense ministry? These cuckoos saying that there's biological research facilities. They're a bunch of nut jobs, you know? Even Tucker Carlson, who, who was debunking... Uh, the, the lies by U.S. officials was like, well, you know, usually we don't listen to the Russians because they're Russians, you know, and, and the Chinese. We, why would we listen to these crackpots? <laughs> you know, got to have that little bit of uh, xenophobia in there and jingoism. She, that's, that, li listen to this again. S seriously, listen to it again. I'm going to play it to you, right? Look. Russia could use chemical or biological weapons in Ukraine to create a false flag operation using them. Sean? Jennifer, but we do know Victoria Nuland admitted that, that labs existed. What exactly they're for, we never got clarity on, correct? Well, we do have clarity. I have a, a fact sheet. That's what I was just reading from. <laughs> I have a fact sheet. Well, I, I, I don't know. I was given a piece of paper. I just read what's given to me on the paper. I've, look, I have a fact sheet, but it's from the Pentagon. It has to be real. <laughs> this is how they operate, man. This is what people don't get. This is how journalists journalists right this is how reporters news anchors operate in the west they can't think for themselves they've, they've obliterated critical thinking skills and they just want you to believe whatever comes out of their mouths so there's no need for verification it's just like the other time with jake sullivan do you remember a few weeks ago uh, uh matt lee from the associated press he was uh listening uh to to um ne to to ned price sorry uh ned price was the spokesperson for the state department right and 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 ned price was telling him we have proof we have evidence that the russians are about to mount a false flag attack and uh, you know they're, they're going to try and blame um uh, uh the the west and then try to use that as an excuse to start a war and he's like yeah but do do you have any evidence of that and he's and ned price looks at him like he just insulted his mother and he's like I just gave you the, I just told you, but like, <laughs> yeah, you, you told me you're the state department. That's not fucking proof. <laughs> God, it's, it's like, how dare you? How dare you ask for confirmation? You heathen, you goddamn savage. Take our word for it.
<laughs> from here at the Pentagon. And it is a long program that has existed where the Pentagon has partnered with these uh, these bio labs. These were Soviet era labs that remember the Nun Lugar bill and trying to deal with proliferation when the uh, when the Soviet Union ended. That is part of this effort to try and clean up those Soviet era labs and make sure that nothing uh, escapes from those labs. And so the U.S. has been very open about its involvement there with that. But what Russia does is they take that information, distort it, turn it around, and turn it into disinformation. And that is what has U.S. government officials concerned, because often they will do that. They Jesus Christ. Really, it's insufferable. It's insufferable. Wow. You, no wonder a lot of people, they, they, they just, they're so conditioned and programmed. They, they can't think for themselves. No wonder. Really, no, no wonder. And I, I honestly, she's saying that, you know, these are Soviet labs and, and, and they're from the, you know, the Soviet Union, obviously, because, you know, Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. A lot of these uh, Eastern European countries were so-called satellite states of, of the, uh, the Russians. And yeah, of course, it's, it's absolutely true. You have a lot of Soviet labs. Uh, just to give you another example of WMDs, the um, Ukrainians, they had the third largest nuclear arsenal in the world when the Soviet Union was um, uh, uh, di dissolved, right? So they were left with this huge nuclear arsenal. And thankfully, they, they actually they really credit to them. They did the responsible thing. They, they allowed uh, this nuclear arsenal to be dismantled and removed, right? So one, one less country with nuclear weapons. Um, and of course, Zelensky the other day is saying he regrets that. So I, I don't know if you're a Russian, you know, if you're a Russian and you're listening to your neighbor say they want nuclear weapons, I don't know what kind of message that sends. But regardless, my point is that it's true. You have a lot of Soviet uh, uh, um, uh, facilities left over. Just the Kharkov Institute that we were talking about the other day, which the Russians uh, supposedly shelled, um, uh, they were saying it has a nuclear reactor. Well, that's not true, but it did used to have 90% enriched uranium, which is what you would need to make a bomb. Although, again, that's not all you need. It's one piece of the puzzle. But nevertheless, that was dismantled. So, yes, what she's saying is partly true, but, but that does not change the fact that the Pentagon is funding bio labs in Eastern Europe. And not just in Eastern Europe, but, but specifically which surround Russia, Iran, and also China. And... Again, I, I just went through this like literally 10 minutes ago with you guys, with, with Diliana. We went through the whole thing. Um, and, uh, you know, Vic, Vic, he's Sean Hannity. <laughs> you remember Trump? Somebody called Sean Hannity. <laughs> Sean Hannity, who is, um, again, it's kind of weird to see like the voices of reason in, in this particular instance being Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity. Like that, that's the state of affairs. But here we are. Um, and so Sean Hannity's asking her, yeah, but Victoria Newland, she just said that, um, uh, you know, there are facilities in Ukraine that, that we're funding. And she's afraid of uh, the, the uh, Russians uh, getting a hold of them. Right. We, we just saw that clip together. Does Ukraine have chemical or biological weapons? Uh, Ukraine has uh, biological research facilities which, in fact, we are now quite concerned Russian troops, Russian forces may be seeking to uh, gain control of. So, Right. So, again, that doesn't exactly match your fact sheet, but, uh, you know, props to, to Hannity for trying at least. Can I, just, can I just show you guys the clip that I was talking about with Ned Price, uh, the State Department spokesperson, and Matt Lee, with this exchange where he was like, I just gave you the proof. I told you, bro. <laughs> you know, it's this 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 uh, arrogant attitude that whatever comes out of the mouth of a U.S. official is the gospel, is the truth. What what on earth does that mean? Like like if other countries do that, you call that state media, you call that authoritarianism, right? When other countries report something that the government has said, uh, they they say that that's state media, right? But here we have someone on Fox. Uh, who is just repeating word for word what the Pentagon told her. And she says, I have a fact sheet. So basically, she's admitting someone told her what to say, right? And it's the Pentagon, and they call that... And that's not state media? Are you fucking serious? You see, this is the problem in the U.S. is that... And, and the U.K. and the West, they have state media. There is state media, and it's actually way worse than, than what they attack RT with and press seeds. Way worse. You know why? Because, they, first of all, they don't allow dissent. And, and, and they, they want you to think that everything that comes out of the, the CIA, unnamed U.S. intelligence officials, you know, they have all these various names, the G-Men, whatever you want. It's the same people in the end. It's the same little cluster 
uh, of corporations and and uh, actors in the deep state and the intelligence agencies who are feeding this information so they can accomplish a, a wider agenda, whether it's um, foreign policy objectives, geopolitical objectives, uh, make more profits. You know, they, they are the ones controlling the media. Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, they're owned by corporations. Do you understand? When you have a corporation deciding what you should hear, that's not a good thing, especially when that corporation controls the government. So they not only control your lives and the laws that govern your life, and, and they don't not only deprive you of health care and they make you go and fight these wars, they, they, they also take advantage of, of people by feeding them this nonsense and justifying and selling to them the, the other uh, attacks that they've done on their citizens, on the people in the United States, on the people in the, US, in the UK, in Europe, the civilian population, right? They, they're, they're, just, they're just as much victims of the, the top 1% of the corporations as anyone else. And, and again, of course, we're not going to compare, you know, people who are living in war zones, they obviously have it the worst. And, you know, but, but they're also, it's, 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 you can't just, like, separate that. You understand? And so my point here is that you have a corporate media, a state-run media masquerading as some free press, and it's not a free press. And I want to show you this clip with Ned Price. Um, I think it's at, uh, yeah, here we go. So take a listen, take a, a look at this. So you said actions such as these suggest otherwise, suggest meaning that they suggest they're not interested in talks and they're going to go ahead with some kind of a, what action are you talking about? One, the actions I've just pointed to. Uh, the what fact, action? What? The, the fact that Russia continues to engage uh, in disinformation well, uh, campaigns. You, know, you made an allegation that they might do that. Have they actually done it? Uh, what we know, Matt, is what we what I have just said that they have engaged in this activity, well, uh, in this planning well, activity. But, activity. But let me let me because because obviously this is not this is not the first time we've made uh, these reports public. You'll remember that just a few well, weeks I, ago. I'm sorry, you made, made, made what report public? If you let me finish, I will okay. tell you what report we made okay. public. Uh, we told you a few weeks ago that we have information indicating Russia also has already prepositioned a group of operatives to conduct a false flag operation in eastern Ukraine. So that, Matt, to your question, is an action that Russia has already well, taken. It's an action that you say that they have taken, but you have shown no evidence to, 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 to confirm that. And I'm going to get to the next question here, which is, what is the evidence that they, I mean, this is like crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into. <laughs> um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the in in the making? Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know. Okay, well, where where is it? Where where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. <laughs> oh, I had the look on his face. I just delivered it. Don't you trust me, Matt? Don't you trust the State Department? You know you can't do that in public. <laughs> no, no, you made a series of allegations and would statements. You, would you like us to print it out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for that, yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you like, Matt? <laughs> I, I would like to see some proof that you, that, 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 that you can show that... that Matt, you have that, been that, that shows you, that 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 you, shows that the Russians are doing this. Ned, I've been doing this for. A I long know that time. was my point. As, you as, you as have you, know. you you have been doing this for quite a while. You know I that have. when we declassify intelligence That's information, right. and I we do so. And we Listen, Matt, you've been doing this for a while. You know better than to ask real fucking questions. Shut the fuck up and accept what I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like, come on, Matt. You know how it works around here. You know the drill. We give you the information, and you copy and paste it. That's it. You don't ask questions. Who do you think you are? <laughs> I love it. It's, it's such a, a telling exchange, isn't it? We in a means, in we do and so. I, we do so with an eye to that, protecting that sources and methods. Is not going to fall. I, I remember a lot of things. So, where, where where is the declassified information other than you coming out here and saying? Yeah, you know, he, he was even telling him, do you, do you need us to print out the topper? The fact sheet. It's the fact sheet. It's the same thing. <laughs> God, could you imagine if you saw this exchange happening like in the Chinese foreign ministry or the Russian foreign ministry? Like people would just, uh, they would go nuts, right? They see, you see, it's the, the communist, the Chinese communist party and the, the Russian totalitarian oligarch and Putin. <laughs>
<laughs> it's unbelievable. So again, I'm not, we're not saying that China and Russia and so on are perfect, but the people making those criticisms, bashing China and Russia the most, are themselves doing the same thing. And uh, it's quite hypocritical. Do you understand? <laughs> it's amazing. Do you need a topper, Matt? <laughs> so where, where, where is the declassified information other than you coming out here and saying? Matt, I'm sorry you don't like the format, uh, but we have declassified. It's de not the format, it's the content. I'm sorry you don't like the content. I'm sorry it's you, I'm sorry like you are doubting just... the information that is in the possession of the U.S. government. No, I... I, what I'm... <laughs> Matt, it is rather unfortunate that you doubt the veracity and validity of what the state has communicated to you, no? <laughs> God, it's so dystopian. It's like Big Brother. I'm telling you is that this is information that's available to us. We are making it available to you uh, in order uh, for a couple reasons. One is to attempt to deter the Russians from going ahead with this activity. Two, in the event we're not able to do that, in the event the Russians do go ahead with this, to make it... God, he, he just jumped to the Russians, right? Like, you can't you can't defend it. Just, it's... Uh, uh, okay, R the Russia, 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 and, you know, the autopilot goes on. Jesus Christ. So th this is basically, I'm showing you this clip because it's it's no different than what's going on here with this, uh, with Mrs. Fact Sheet, you know? <laughs> it's the exact same thing, man. It's the exact same thing. They just take anything the Pentagon puts out, the State Department puts out, it's gospel. It's gospel. How dare you criticize the state? Except what the state is telling you, Matt. Come on, Matt. You know, they starting to use like the first name, like to try and <laughs> like put him down. Like, come on, Matt. You know better than that. Come on, bro. Don't do this in public. Come on. You're gonna put, you're gonna expose us like that. <laughs> actually, to be fair, Matt Matt Lee, the guy who's asking the question, he's pretty decent. He he's actually the only one I've ever seen in the State Department briefings doing his job. Uh, the only one. Really the only one. Um and I wanted to say something else also about um this uh, Ma with M Madam Fact Sheet over here, right? You know, because obviously the clip w w was, was completely hilarious. But um, another thing I wanted to say is this, this comment from, from Glenn Greenwald really kind of encapsulates the whole point. Look what he said underneath. He said that, um, needless to say, the reporter in that clip is being celebrated by liberals for her integrity and courage despite working for Fox all because she demands that evidence-free Pentagon assertions be treated as unquestioned fact. It's a time for patriotism, not skepticism. So that, that, that's absolutely true, right? Because you, you often hear from people like, well, Fox News is evil, and this is the Trump network, and why would you go on Fox? You remember, you remember Bernie Sanders, he went on Fox, and people were giving him crap for that. Um, you know, a couple of people that I know, they, if they go on Fox, they also get lambasted. You know, and... and even uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren, when she was running for president, she refused to go on Fox, right? Um, in any case, the, 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 my point here is the, the neoliberal position, the Democrat position in the United States right now is that Fox is, is you know, it's some anti-democratic network, it's Trump's network and so on. But in this case, oh, they like her. They like Madam Fact Sheet because she was repeating, you know, U.S. claims, U.S. government claims as gospel. I have a fact sheet. I did <laughs> it was a tissue. Never mind. Just as worthless. <laughs> You know, that, that's the mentality, right? They, the Democrats, the liber, neoliberals, they, they, they love the state. They, they love um, authoritarianism. They worship the intelligence agencies. And again, ironically, they talk about fighting Russian disinformation. They are actually one of the biggest sources of disinformation in the world because they, they parrot and repeat these unfounded claims that are spread by intelligence agencies in, in the, inside the United States, in the West. You know, it's just unbelievable. If you play their game, it doesn't matter. All of a sudden... All of a sudden that you're on Fox is not an issue because, you know, you're on our team now. You're, you're peddling the same BS. It's all good. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so I think that was a couple of, you know, very telling minutes. I wanted to show it to you because it's, it's really, uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's really telling. It really is.